puzzling as it may sound, putting those jigsaw pieces together actually helps us hold it together mentally. And it's like getting a full body workout, but for your brain. Clinical psychologist Dr. Dan Pallison says the first and biggest benefit is getting a full brain workout, as in the left and right sides collaborate. The left side is responsible for logic and reason, and the right side is more creative. And something like a puzzle actually forces both sides of the brain to come together and work together in harmony. You got that one. One of the benefits of working out your brain through a puzzle is it slows down cognitive aging. And so what we see is decreases in dementia. There's even some links to reduce likelihood of Alzheimer's disease later on in life. When you are exercising your brain, you're keeping it fresh, you're keeping it healthy. Getting better at sizing up a situation through visual spatial reasoning is the next health benefit of puzzling. What that is, is it's basically our ability to understand where objects are in space. You'll use this skill when judging the speed of a car before you cross the street playing catch, or even packing a lunchbox. So it's the ability to sort of bend images in our own mind and understand how it fits into the world. So you think about a puzzle piece, and in your mind, you're rotating pieces that are on the table trying to find that exact piece. Dr. Dan says this has tangible, real-world benefits. It makes us more aware, it makes us more conscious, it makes us better drivers. We can assemble furniture better, we have a better idea of how things fit together. The third piece to our puzzle is lowering stress. When we are awake and alert and working on tasks, our brain is operating uh, with beta waves. And when we're in more of a meditative state, our brain sort of relaxes into what we call alpha waves. And what we know about a task like a puzzle is we're also going into that more alpha wave activity. And what that does is it kind of frees up our mind to be more creative and think about big picture ideas while working on a really specific task. We'll end by reconnecting with family while taking a break from the digital world. You don't have to start and stop it. You don't have to pause it like a video game. Your phones are put away, screens are off, and you can just gather around a table and work on a puzzle. Young kids, I mean, puzzles are such a good way to help improve self-esteem as they're working to accomplish the same goal with you. You can praise your kids for doing a good job. Yeah, who masters at puzzling? Building better health one piece at a time on the top of the list.